one uh, or a couple of notes. So to get to get this panel out, not that difficult. Um, this panel right here, there are in each corner, there's a plastic clip. And if you come in here with a, a panel uh, popper, just really, really gently, this pops out. You take this off and then there's two, one on each corner, seven millimeter screws. Um, you take those two seven millimeter screws out. And by the way, they're not directly up and down. They are at a little bit of an angle. So keep that in mind when you're, when you're wrenching on it. Um, that's how this comes out. Take out the two screws and then there's three clips here, one in the middle and one in each corner. And again, be really gentle, just pop this out. And then this whole panel can be uh, modified how you need to modify it. Um, just like I showed earlier in the video. So that, uh, that's really easy to do. Now to, to run the wire, you could fish it straight down. Um, and you could even in this area here, if you've got like a right angle drill, um, or if you wanted to even just do it manually with just a drill bit, um, you could go straight through here. I chose to again use the grommets uh, just to, to make it look like a, a finished look um, down here. But um, what you can do, if you need to remove any of this stuff, here's how this is connected. So these panels right here on either side, they pull straight out. Um, they have, there's plastic clips. By the way, I did uh, break two of the clips down here. It's still holding in nice and tight, not real worried about it. Um, but, um, but these just pull out. If you need to pull out this center panel, once you have this out up here, there are, I believe it's two or maybe three screws, again, seven millimeter, that are up here at the top. But in order to pull this panel out, you've got to pull these out as well because this panel goes behind each one of these. So before you do that, you got to at least pull these out a little bit and get them off to the side, even if you don't totally disconnect everything. This will then just pop right out and then this little panel right here, if you can see that seam line, this little panel here has again two seven millimeter screws, but um, in order to get to the actual screws, they're down at the bottom. Um, no, no, I'm gonna take that back. They're actually behind here. So you've gotta get this out in order to get this out. So that's how you remove the, the center stack, the upper portion. Now, if you need to remove the lower area down here this panel right here easiest way is to use a you can use a screwdriver but uh, I prefer to use a plastic panel tool here and here and that'll pop this this rear portion out and then you're really just gonna have to pop this up um, it's gonna you know have some sickening crunches but um, but you pop that up and it will come out um, if you need to do anything in here, also to, um, if you if you need to, there is a little panel right here that does come out, but it doesn't really do much good because in order to actually do anything down in here, um, you've got to um, you've got to remove this. When you get the, the back portion of this out, there are two clips, one on each side, that go in this direction. So what you've really got to do is get this part up and then pull back again very very easy to break those clips um, and they are not friendly at all um, you, it's gonna feel like you're gonna break something and you potentially are gonna break it because this this area down here on each side is very very fragile once you have this out you can get to the sub assembly underneath all this where the cup holders are where this retainer is you can also pop this unit out and then in order to get this tray actually out you got to remove this lower panel um, you got to remove all this stuff it is not easy to do and in, in fact uh, it was just a colossal pain to do it I I don't recommend it unless you absolutely have to also while we're talking about that I originally I've returned them I was gonna put some additional LEDs um, just some little bolt LEDs that I was just going to cut a hole in here just to give a little bit of extra light. Um, 
because in the 2018 model, they did away with the color changing. They, um, the, you also can't change the brightness. It's really, really annoying. But um, I decided not to do that because there's not much space on either side here. And in order to do that, in order to actually even get this, to get this unit out, of course, you still have to remove all this stuff. And I was gonna replace, there's a light right here. In fact, you can see it on my hand. Um, I was gonna replace the LED in this. I was actually gonna desolder it. But in order to get this wire out, um, because this is hardwired in, in order to get that out, um, it was uh, kind of a pain. So I, I basically decided not to do anything with the LEDs. You can get some rope lighting that, that basically what you do is you pop up the rear of this and you can fish it in, but then you end up with wires just kind of hanging down in here. You gotta do something with I just don't like the idea of it and so I'm at least for right now I'm gonna leave it as is but that's what things look like as far as the mount goes um, I'm really really pleased with it glad that it uh, is all done got everything back put together and um, I do appreciate everyone watching the videos please like the videos please subscribe to the videos please share them with your friends and if you have any questions, by all means, please send me a note. I'm always happy to get comments and try to respond to all of them. Thank you.